Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you something really neat. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to how you can delete all of the family types from a saved Revit family. So imagine that you've created some family, you've created all of the family types, uh, and now you want to delete all of them. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. And before we jump in, make sure to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. Uh, hit the like, hit the no notifications, and look out for more tutorials. So uh, let's click to the component. You can click the shortcut. You have the shortcut for this, CM. So CM is the shortcut. And let's work with this desk. So let's imagine that I want to delete all of the family types from this desk. So as you can see over here, I have three types that were created in the family environment. So three of them. So if I click on my family and go to edit family, here you can go to family types and you can see that three types were created. And um, you may think, you know, it's pretty easy. You can just click delete here. Yeah, if you click delete, it will let you delete to the point where you left with one. And that's it. Now you cannot continue deleting that. And uh, what is the trick also that if I go back to my project here, I can see three of them, three of the types. And in the family, I've deleted all of them. I just left one of them. And you may think that, okay, if I now load this into the project, that will delete all of the, uh, that, that will leave only one of them. But if I load this into the project and override the existing version, and uh, here on the family, I still have all of them. So how you can get around this? Uh, so before even doing that, you need to understand what happens when you just create some family. And if I go to file, new, new family, uh, let's go to some, uh, to some simple generic model, to some simple generic model, for example, and let's create just some circle here. Doesn't matter or rectangle, whatever you want. And load this into the project. As you can see, by default, you have no types. And uh, this is exactly what we want to achieve there. And I go to load into the project, to the project three. And if I place this, uh, Revit automatically creates the family for this. As you can see, this is the type. So Revit automatically creates the family using the type that you had in the family. So for example, that family had the name family two. Of course, you better go to save as and name that descriptively. But this is the behavior that we need to understand. So if you think about this, let me kind of close this desk and go with no. Now what I can do is to go here and open up this branch, this family branch, and scroll down a bit and find the furniture. So here is the furniture, and I have the desk. And what happens with this family too? So I have the generic model. Let's do the same that we have for our generic model, because if you go to this family, you have no types, right? You don't have any type here. So let's create the same behavior for this one. So if I go to generic model, as you can see, family two, and that has the same name. Let's do the same for the desk. Let's delete this one. Let's delete this one. So I'm just hitting the delete uh, to delete these types. And now you can right click or you can type F2. And uh, let's have the same name. So M underscore desk. As you can see, they're the same. So now if you go to the family, if you select your family and go to added family and go to family and types, you will have no types. So that is the trick how you can delete all of the family types from a saved family. So that can be quite useful for whatever reason you want to delete all of your types. So that was a, a quick trick how you can get around that was just a bit of a work work around how to deal with these family types so i hope you find this video useful uh, please like and share this video it will help me a lot and uh, thank you for watching have a nice day